What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You got the retail nomad here standing in front of a beautiful facility. If you look at the, the mountainscapes, the terrain around me, there's all kinds of banana plantations and little small farms and fields up there. And this, this factory I'm in front of is called Jezba, G-E-S-B-A. And it's the governmental department agency that controls the banana production and exportation here on the island. We're gonna cruise inside here, check out how they transport the bananas in, bring them in, pack them up, and then ship them out to local here on the island, as well as exportation off of Madeira Island. I'm in Punta del Sol, which is the point of the sun. Follow us in here, and then we're going to the Banana Museum, and then we're gonna stop inside of a grocery supermarket and show you ultimately how they're sold, which most of us are familiar with. But this is gonna start and show you how they're produced and cut and processed. Retail Nomad, Madeira Island, Portugal. Follow us along this week. The Retail Nomad, traveling the globe, sharing what the retail environment is like, hidden corners of the world. And on my local research here, I found a nearby processing facility here by the name of Banana de Madeira. And then under that, you see Jezba, which is the governmental agency, which actually pays the local farmers to bring their produce in here to be processed. And as you see here, these containers are brought in by the local farmers and they've got this nice high-tech system that actually goes in, lifts the actual product and the crop, preparing it to bring inside and then they can start the cleansing and the process for packaging. And do take note on the cleanliness and the high-tech equipment being utilized here. I was very intrigued to learn how they bring the bananas boxes down to merge with the cleanse bananas for pick and pack. And here we are on an overhead viewing platform, viewing from a macro view down. You can see the new bananas coming in, recently cleansed, now merging with the banana boxes and going through the selection criteria for the ones that are more ripe would stay on the island. The ones that can actually be exported would go off the island in a different colored box. And here as the conveyor system comes to an end, They've separated the multicolored banana boxes, the ones keeping for uh, local transport, and then the ones going for exportation off the island into pallets and in the containers for shipment. All right, folks, you got the Retail Nomad. We're wrapping up, and if you see on the sign back here behind us, it says Banana de Madera. That's right, we're in the, the company, the factory. I had Madi here with me. She, she rocked and rolled me through this whole whole process. It's amazing what they do, bringing the plants in, the bananas, they cut them, they clean them, they package them, and they package them up for processing and shipping out the door. Right, Retail Nomad, Punta do Sol. Thanks much, Monty, obrigado. Thank you very much, Bye. And here you see this sign, it says BAM. It stands for Banana Museum. It's gonna pan around and show you the beauty of this area, this mountainside cliff region. It's just absolutely gorgeous here. And the ocean is on the backside 10 seconds away. And they grow these bananas all over these fields up here. They're all over the place. And these individual families, small time farmers, 3,000 up on the island, bring all their bananas to the production facilities. We're gonna cruise inside the museum and learn more about the banana processing and the industry here on the island. Bam. Very cool to watch and learn from all the production history advancements over the last hundreds of years. As then I cruised over to uh, the little bar restaurant store, which offered everything from t-shirts to hats, to banana liquor, to banana chips and delicious banana bread. Here's a close up example of the different colored banana boxes as they select based off of the ripeness and the quality of the banana. Some of them going on a truck to the local grocery and then the other ones going on a container. Here's a cool little interactive display showcasing where they bring the aqueducts or commonly called lavadas into the local farms. Here I am next to a banana plant and I found out it's not a tree. I've been calling them banana trees for years in Costa Rica. It's a berry. That's right, it's a superfood berry. I didn't know that. That's right, and they call these, each little section, they call them a hand of bananas, like, and each one's called a finger. I had no idea that either. So I learned this here at the Banana Museum, it's called BAM, B-A-M, as in Banana de Madera. It just opened up last year, it, 
bananas is one of the largest export products on the island. So they opened up a museum here. There's 3,000 small-time farmers that live here on the south side of this island. All right, folks, I found the biggest supermarket in the area by the name Continente. It says, Bon Benito. Welcome. And then look over to the side. It's one of the first supermarkets I've been to in the world that, that you can see a badass waterfall. That is absolutely beautiful. We're going to jump inside here, check out the banana and fruit section. Roll inside here with us. And here I found the produce department inside Continente. And it's 1.6 euros per kilo for these bad boys. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed tagging along this week, learning and watching how the banana production operates here on the island of Madeira. It's absolutely amazing, stellar process and facilities and people that I've met along the way. Here, we just walked out of Continente, and I'm still blown away by the most absolutely epic photo of this waterfall that's outside of this grocery store. Look at that mountainscape, it's badass. The retail nomad showcasing the banana industry here on Madeira Island. Hopefully you've enjoyed following along this week, folks. Stay tuned to the retail nomad as each week we'll be profiling different types of shopping experiences around the world. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Ciao.